What's up, YouTube? It's Vertical J back with another video. As we are back on the Jaguars franchise in season two, and we're already in week 12. This season has flew by, but Mark, we are in a bit of a pickle with our quarterback situation as we picked up a win last week, but we have just been, our defense has been amazing. And Tyron Samuels, I'm trying to get him rookie of the year because. I know something like he's having such a good year. He popped off last game. He has 500 free. He's averaging like 56 a game. But then go to Zach Isaac and see what his stats are. Should he be the number one? He should he be leading out of any rookie? No. What the fuck? Look at his stats. My backup quarterback almost has that much touchdowns. Not really, but like, you know. But, we're actually, I think we're going to sim the Niners. Sim, we're going to have a double simulation. We're going to play the Rams. Or do I? Yeah. Then we're going to just finish off the season. I think we're on pace to make the playoffs. But, also, I was looking. We have to go back to the screen. Worst offense in the league. And the best defense. That's how the seasons felt for me as well. As James Robinson, I was happy to have him back. Let's do some scouting Get to get into this game. Alright, we're going to do a lot of scouting today as we're going to be doing three weeks. Tyrone King finished scouting him. He looks decent by speed. My main guy I want is... This Tyrell Butler, like 6'5", with those stats, too. He will just moss people. Then also, this guy over here, like, I've never seen a corner that looks like this. Vince Fulton, 6'4", 210. Yeah, he's going to be good. I'm excited to see, like, some draft stories. As We're actually going to check if there is a draft story before simming this week. Nope, no draft stories. But, yeah. We're going to save some saving for next week. We're going to do a lot more. Can we pick up one against the Niners as we win? And Sidney Jones is cleared, but the Niners take a loss to the Jaguars. Sidney Jones' acceleration will drop a lot. We're definitely going to just play Trey Herndon. And get on with this. Because I want Sidney Jones to come back healthy. DJ Chark has an upgrade. Let's go. What are we going to try to get him? I'm just going to upgrade Deep Gut. Why not? He's going to be... This is like... DJ Chark's one of my favorite players on this team. As he gets a plus three deep route running. His deep route's already at a 92. Without the big boost. with Because our team's on a winning streak right now. As, let's see this playoff picture if we would to start. We would be the two seed, of course, behind the Browns because they're the best team in the franchise. But, yeah, let's do some scouting for this game. All right. After last game, last two games, actually, safe to say we're in a need for a quarterback. All these guys have A-plus throw power. Jeez. We do need a quarterback. Dude, how much of these guys are going to have A-plus throw power than suck at everything else? Alright, well, that was an unsuccessful day of scouting as they're all buzzed. Keon Wright, I mean, Scrambler, probably not going to be the franchise guy, but, I mean, he's he looks good. We're going to be simming again as we are 8-3. and three. Can we just keep up this win streak? Jeez. As we take a loss. I was expecting a lot more of those this year, so I'm fine with it. As we're still a one game above in the division, and then it's tied. The Colts and the Texans are tied for last in the division, as the Titans and Jaguars are in the race, the main race. I was looking, and Trey Herndon, he looks like he's a young player, too. Oh, no, that's Gerard Wilson, but... Nobody, like, that's needed to be re-signed. We're not going to pay Marcus Mariota. 
that much money, even though it's not crazy amount for a quarterback. But he's not been playing the best. You know, he has decent stats. We're going to let him play this game. As we're playing the Rams, let's just scout every quarterback possible, though. Whew. And I want Devontae Kerr the most because he just looks pretty good. But, yeah. Let's just keep scouting all these bust. Come on. I'm going to, of course, we find one. He's, like, a little above his thing. Talent undrafted, but you are undrafted. All these guys are going to be greens. I don't know why I'm scouting. But we are now going to get into the game after we do these quick upgrades and start Marcus Mario. Actually, I'll do that off camera. But Tyrone Samuels and Raiden Davenport have an upgrade. Let's just keep going with what Tyrone Samuels is best at for now. All right. He gets a lot from that. So now he's up to an 81. We're going to definitely need to develop that blocking. Then he'll be an elite tight end. Braden Davenport will. We're going to upgrade zone as we're going to convert into corner, back to corner after this year. If it works. Plus three awareness. As now he has 80 awareness. Not even bad. He's developed into a very good player. Caleb Levon Chase on. It's been on a tear these last couple weeks. Let's get him to a 75. And up some stuff. As I am going to start Marcus Mariota, but I'll catch you guys in the game. And we're back. I forgot to mention in the intro, but Sidney Jones will be making his return for this game. We're going to be starting Marcus Mariota, but Sidney Jones' long-awaited return as he was our best corner last year. As Josh Lambo is going to be kicking off to the Rams. As the Rams are going to be one of the most annoying defensive teams because they have Jalen Ramsey, who I think has bench press and then one step ahead. And then he got, they got Aaron Donald. So, I mean, Jared Goff is still under center for this team. As we're in, going to drop back in man coverage. And look at Sidney Jones. First play, he's back. He causes an incompletion. We have missed Sidney Jones in this this year because he's just such a key part of this team that we didn't even think we, he was going to be that good when we first started this season or just any of this series. I'm excited for him to be back as he's going to have tough task with, what's his name, Cooper Cup. As that's going to be short of the first down, what is he doing? We're going to get a stop three and out. What's new for our defense? Because that's what we do every single game. Like We're definitely the best, one of the best defenses as C.J. Henderson back to return. As he gets nowhere, up to the 17. Marcus Mariota really been struggling as of late. But I trust him to make it back and play better. Let's start off by running the ball with James Robinson a lot as his in his return last week was just phenomenal. He really showed like he's a big part of our offense. As was that another rain game against Joe Burrow? As James Robinson already has eight touchdowns. He's been he was out four weeks. Marcus Mariota, empty backfield. They put the, him in the situation a lot. Also, guys, since the NFL draft is coming up, Ty Tyrone Samuels gets a gain of 17. But as the NFL draft is coming up, how, who do you guys want your favorite team to draft? See, I, my Niner fan, we just traded up to the third pick. You know, I, I can't say I don't want Justin Fields because I've been hearing them say they want Mac Jones as LaVisca Chenault gets a good catch there. That they want Mac Jones. We aren't trading up to the third pick to get Mac Jones. Come on. And James Robinson gets it to the 49 as he's gets one yard there. But we're going to we the Jacksonville Jaguars are driving right now. They're looking pretty good here. As Tyrone Samuels is open downfield, can he catch it? No, that is incomplete. As Tyrone Samuels has been targeted 
twice now to start this game. Now it is a 39. Can the Jaguars convert here? I hope so. Monty Newhouse is back in the slot. As it hits off a defend uh, our lineman's head. Are we in no man's land though? Too short to punt, too long to kick. You know what that means, huh? <laughs> but that means we are going to be going for it. It isn't a vertical J video without me going for it, so. As I saw Monty Newhouse, but no time. Marcus Mariota is hit as he throws. And now the LA Rams will be have the ball at the 49. Sorry about that noise. That was. And sorry about the intro. I, I noticed my fan was going. <laughs> I had to turn that off. So sorry about that. But we were gonna be good now. That noise was just. I had to close my door real quick. I did the check down. Casey Mayo. Casey Mayo. User lurk. That you love the user lurk. All right. <laughs> Casey Mayo with his first ever interception. As he is not the best in coverage, but he is a great run stopper. But there we go. First ever career interception for Casey Mayo to get this ball back. As the Rams gain like three yards that drive. This, this defense is just elite. As they are just shutting down, man. Marcus Mariota rolling out. He has DJ Chark. DJ Chark, what are you doing? No, he went upfield. And it is tipped up by Jalen Ramsey. And then is that Taylor Rapp to get the interception? Some of these interceptions aren't even Marcus Mariota's fault. <laughs> it's just... Oh, <laughs> Casey Mayo, the second user pick of the game. Back-to-back <laughs> -back plays on defense. He gets an interception. Sorry about the yell, but that was just <laughs> second interception for Casey Mayo this game as he's literally just two back-to-back -back plays on defense. Interception, interception. Oh, Tyron Samuels, Tyron Samuels, can he get to that ball? Yes, he can. He gets up to the eight. He's been our, like, our best receiver these last couple weeks. You know, DJ Chark was like the first week, <laughs> the first five weeks he was just goaded. But that will give the Jacksonville Jaguars great position to just score, put some points on the board. That will be Tyron Samuels for another touchdown in his rookie year. He, tell me this guy won't be rookie of the year, please. Don't tell me that because, like, I want him to be. <laughs> no Zach Isaac, bro. I don't want to hear none of that. As that is a two-play, both to Tyrone Samuels. And that was just a great interception by Casey Mayo as Jared Goff starts off not too hot with a very low yardage with two interceptions. Can he pick it up? I don't think so. <laughs> That's why they traded him. All right. Casey Mayo looking for the third interception consecutive. As now, you know, Jared Goff doesn't want none of Casey Mayo. As he is going to throw it away from him. And let's just say Braden Davenport could have gotten stiff arm, But, you know, CJ Henderson's there to back him up. That's what it would be like. A Miles Jack gets quick passed by the AI to... Tyler Higby. Now, the LA Rams already get it up to the 42. Dang, and that's another pass to. Is that Tyler Higby or is that? Yeah, that is Tyler Higby. And that's a tackled by Casey Mayo after a decent. by a gain of eight by Tyler Higby. The Rams have only ran the ball, I believe, once, and now that is twice. What will that flag be? As That's going to be a holding on the offense, and the Rams are going to be pushed back to the 44 now. Now I believe this will be a passing down for the Rams. No, and it will be a run, and Cam Ankers has a hole. And he gets up to the 27. He gets that all back. In a great run. 
Uh, that was a great hole made by that O-line. And that's another run to Cam Akers, and that is tackled by Joe Sherbert. Joe Sherbert, you know? Maybe I need to trade him for, to them Bucks and make them wear their creamsicle uniforms. <laughs> and nothing's open here. And that's, dude, I'm... Miles Jack <laughs> with the pick now. The whole linebacking crew is going to get one. We just need Joe Schobert to get one. As that wasn't even... I mean, I usured him, but I just switched on to him last second. As that is... Jared Goff's third interception as he's going to get he's going to get booed on his way out of the plane going back home as there's going to be people waiting for him. Guarantee you that. As uh, Mariota back to pass. He sees DJ Chark. DJ Chark hits him with the stop and go. And he gets up to the 43 now. He is a hit a thousand yards receiving this year. I believe he had it before, but they just showcased that now, which he has had such a good year. He's kind of slowed down, but I mean, you can't keep that amazing pace that whole year as LaVisca Chenault was a good catch to get up to the 37 as this is a good pace for this Jaguars offense. Will the Rams bench Jared Goff? That is the question. As he is seeing Ghost right now, that's the type of one I like from James Robinson. James Robinson gets a 10-yard run as he sheds bunches of tackles and gets up to the 27. As James Robinson is still not tired, we have to watch out for Aaron Donald on these run plays. But Andrew Norwell get, does a good job pulling and blocking him as James Robinson falls forward for another gain of six. Sean McVay is just not happy about this game so far. Which I could I could see why. James Robinson wide open in the flat. Run over Jalen Ramsey. That's what he does. I had to just like turn a little to run into Jalen Ramsey. As this is a great drive by the Jacksonville Jaguars. They're just controlling the pace here. Now that will be the two minute warning as this has been a very eventful Second half, our first half of football, and it's been entertaining to watch. As Marcus Mariota will lose two after he's getting sacked by, I believe, Tyrell Lewis. I That was a guess on his, like, first name, but I think I'm right. No. But, Mariota, back to pass. I see Ma Monty Newhouse. Monty Newhouse drops it. I could, oh, and DJ Chark's getting into it with one of the defenders there, number 32. We might need to get some tracking on that and see if it escalates into more after this drive. As Jaguars will set it for three, as it's all right. Still a good drive after the interception by Miles Jack. The, this linebacking core will be the best in the league next year. If not right now, next year they will be like, a top three because they have Casey Mayo and Miles Jack who they're both playing great Jared Goff has not started off too crazy three interceptions to no touchdowns will he look to turn it around as they're just gonna hey you could roll those a couple times three use alerts <laughs> and now we're gonna be dropping back in coverage a lot more so Miles Jack has his X Factor now As that's a check down to Cam Akers, and that is only a gain of two as he falls down after the catch. What is Casey Mayo like? But we should definitely be guessing past every play here. As another check down to Jared Goff, big hit him, oh, and that is tackled by Case uh, Braden Davenport. As the Rams call a timeout, and that will just... That will stop the clock at 57 seconds. We're going to be guessing pass here so we can lock up a little more. As that's another check down, but can he get out of bounds? I believe he gets out of bounds there. That's a good play by number 86 to get out of bounds after the catch. Can't allow one more yard with Miles Jack then. 
As that's Tyler Higby. He has been Jared Goff's favorite target. As I believe Braden Davenport gets him out of bounds, out of bounds on the hit. He misses the tackle, but still pushes him out of bounds. Hmm. Jared Goff has nothing. Just finds Tyler Higby and Sidney Jones tackles him. But can did he get out of bounds? I believe so. Yeah. As ja Rams are starting to move the ball a little more as they switch their formation. I believe they flip their play. As Casey Mayo, third interception for Casey Mayo. Don't throw it his way. Please don't. Third interception this season. They're all in the same game, by the way. Don't test him. What do I have to tell you? As that wasn't even a user alert. Tyron Samuels. Tyron Samuels can't get the catch. Yes, he's having himself a first half to remember. This is just... This defense is elite, and we're going to definitely just keep getting better there as we are a very young team. As that's a fumble. Marcus Mariota fumbles, and Aaron Donald picks it up, but there is a flag on the play. What will that flag be? There's a legal block in the back on the offense. I saw that happen. A.J. Can just pushes over one of, the, I, I believe, Kenny Young. But Jaguars are back on offense, or Rams are back on offense after the fumble from Marcus Mariota. As I tried doing a little too much there. Casey Mayo misses his tackle. That is a rare sight to see. But now the Rams have one timeout. And they are at the 26, so they'll at least get three out of here if they make their kick. That's a curl. And CJ Henderson gets a animation for he gets an animation for Acrobat, but then is just a little too shallow or high on the route and just overshoots it. Or undershoots it. Oh, and Casey Mayo is just having himself a day as do you see that pass breakup as he just goes in in wax. If we could keep him in bounds here, we could stop. We could hold him off even three. And that's sacked. Caleb Von Chase on. Can't, and we are not going to, they are not going to be able to get the ball up in time and get their field goal unit out. There, there we go. Good stop by Jacksonville. Sean McVay is going to be regretting using that timeout as this defense is just locking up. This is a fun game to watch as this defense is just like I'll say it again in the last 30 seconds Victor Ballard back to return but that defense is locking up guys I re I record these videos in a, like almost a week in advance so like I just posted episode 13 like a couple seconds ago <laughs> So, I just, you guys will see that, um, oh, and DJ Chark is now hurt. That is not what we want to see, but then he looks like he almost does a push-up as he's getting, as he's hurt, but hopefully he is okay, as he's one of our best players. And Tyron Samuels is on Jalen Ramsey, and he still shuts, he still catches it. Tyron Samuels, he's on the pace to be a great tight end in this league. Monty Newhouse and LaVisca Chenault are definitely going to have to step up here. They're going to be their number one and number two. And Marcus Mariota finds Monty Newhouse for a good game. That's a big... Monty Newhouse with his first reception of the game. And DJ Chark tears his abdominal as that is just a huge loss. Because that is not going to be no short injury as... Those could be long, but now we're going to have Colin Johnson stepping into the uh, bigger role. As I'm just going to run out of bounds. I don't know why I did that kind of a brain fart. <laughs> but I will... Marcus Mariota just runs out of bounds as he could stop the clock. But also not take a sack, even though he basically did take a sack. Oh, Tyron Sam is on the delay fade. As he gets up to the 27, he's just dominating. 
as he's almost at 100 yards receiving this game with the touchdown, as his rookie of the year candidacy is at an all-time high right now. Monty Newhouse, can he snag it on him, number 21? No. I would love to see Monty Newhouse start to go up and moss some people as he is a 6'4 receiver. He has a big build. But, you know, that's something, it's not easy when you get into the NFL to do that. But we're going to, he's going to ease into his role as he doesn't, he's not asked to be a number one. Because if he's going to have a huge role, now we're not going to run out of Aaron Donald. Can we do anything else? Yeah, all right. As Andrew Norwell on the poll is just a little too slow, but I mean, fourth and one, I mean, fourth and one. Those are the only words you need to hear. As we're just going to run full back dive, hopefully we can get this, but we are running it at Aaron Donald, so anything could happen. But we double Aaron Donald, he tackles him, but after Mike Anthony gets a gain of five. Jack, Sean McVay is just heated in this game. As he's just getting his ass handed to him. Sorry for the, you know, language, but had to say what I had to say. Sean McVay can't do sh <laughs> Oh shit, nothing's open. And that's a low pass to Monty Newhouse, I had to. That is up to the uh, four yard line. End zone fade to Monty Newhouse? <laughs> say less. And we're just going to throw it up to Monty Newhouse. And he nearly catches that. Hey. Why not try it again? <laughs> we're going to try it again. But we also have Tyrone Samuels on the out route. So. Monty Newhouse on the end zone fade. And he mosses him. He's 39. You need a cut. You're faded on. You're faded on. That is Monty Newhouse fifth touchdown of the year. As he just said get big to the opposing corner. And Josh Lambo makes the extra point. <laughs> what was that? As Monty Newhouse on the end zone fade just goes up and snags it for a touchdown. Now we are up 17-0. The Rams are gonna need to come back sooner than later. This has been a fun season to watch. And this defense how long has it been since they've allowed a touchdown? I think they allowed one like last week. <laughs> Did they? Oh, it's a screen pass, and that is open. Yo, Cam Akers trying to get swervy, but then Michael Jack goes and chases him down. Hey, and that gives a good, uh, that stops him after a gain of four. That's checked off to Cam Akers and tackled short of the first down to C.J. Henderson. As this is a trips, a close trips formation. And that they're going to pass on third and short, but they get it to Cooper Cup for a gain uh, for the first down. As Jerry Goff has thrown four interceptions here. I'm going to put our hard flats away shorter. <laughs> sorry guys and bless me bless me sorry <laughs> yeah but we now after the Rams pick up their first down they're already up to the 44 but they're just gonna let it go into the fourth and now the Jaguars just need to hold off for one more game or one more quarter and they might clinch a playoff spot I tried, I tried baiting the AI, <laughs> but that is unsuccessful. And also, something to talk about. I joined a online franchise, 32-man fantasy draft. I've already played two games, but let me know if you guys want to see me start that series up, even though we're, like, two games into the season, because I will. But it probably won't be till like, week five until we get that, until you guys could start a series, but... It's up to you guys as everything's up to you guys. If you guys want to see that, then yeah. But it's 32 men, and it's actually very fun. I'll show you guys my team if you got. But just make sure to like and subscribe, and you guys will be able to maybe see that series as well.
And that is a big gain to Robert Woods for a gain up to the 13. Jerry Goff is starting to pick it up this drive as I've, as I was talking smack about us not giving up a touchdown in like three weeks. We are about to give up one. Unless we can get a stop, obviously. But Cam Anchors gets another good run. He's been rushing. He averages 10 yards a carry this game. But he's only gotten it three yard times. Which is very weird as he's been like one of their best players this game. As Jared Goff's just going to throw it into the back of the end zone because nobody was open. That is just locked down by the Jacksonville Jaguars. That's, as I was saying last drive, that, oh, and Jared Goff's to pass again. Nothing is open and he has to throw it away again. Big stops by Jacksonville. Can they hold him to three? Are they going to kick their field goal? Nah, they're not going to kick their field goal. All right. Come on, one more stop defense <laughs> for the stand. It's just going to be a run. Casey Mayo doesn't stop him, and Cam Akers just gets it in the end zone. He carries Casey Mayo with him. But that's going to be all right. We just have to score and just hold them, which I believe we can, as we've caused four turnovers this game. But a very impressive drive by the L.A. Rams. And now we're going to get back. Oh, there's just there. Uh, they're onside kicking already. That's going to be right to us. Tyron Samuels with the recovery. I, I was just going to air truck. <laughs> but the, we start the, at the 44 now. As I believe they're just accepting fate now. As we're just going to give it to James Robinson. Pat his stats a little. Hopefully can get him a touchdown to drive. Mike Anthony lets off his block a little too early. And James Robinson is tackled. He's all good. As, hey, we throw it up to Monty Newhouse. <laughs> Tyron Samuels is wide open. As he gets a catch, hurdle. <laughs> Tyron Samuels tries to hurdle the defender. And he gets, gets flipped midair. <laughs> this has been a very fun game. As we're just going to run the ball with James Robinson here. Marcus Mariota hands it off to James Robinson. That's a face mask. That is a face mask. We decline it. Holding? Okay. Rest want their checks. Jeez. All right, uh. But that's going to be a holding. Now it's going to be a first and 20. That was a holding on. I should not know who that was a holding on. Tyron Samuels open once again. Can these guys stop him? Best rookie in the league. Casey Mariota. Is also up there, <laughs> but this play has been money. But we're gonna run it with James Robinson now that we got 12 yards back. If that's another holding, as James Robinson just brings a pile with him. But what is that call? Uh, <laughs> bruh. I. It looks like we're not running the ball for the rest of the game, boys. All right. Oh. <sighs> As we're just going to be running this play to get some yards for Tyron Samuels. Oh, Marcus Mariota rolling out. He has LaVisca Chenault. LaVisca Chenault toe taps that for the first down. Is there a holding on that play? Uh, I don't think so. All right, but also, I might start making some mutt videos as I've been grinding my team lately. I have now a 95 team. I started not too long ago, but we're just going to hand it to James Robinson for a gain of three. He's not had the most efficient day on the ground, but it's all right. Win's a win. As long as we win, it's all right. Tyrone Samuels is just having himself a day. Aaron, Aaron Donald's chasing Marcus Mariota. Marcus Mariota's smart to get out that pocket and just throw it away. That's not someone you want him to have chasing you. But good play. I'm back to the ball, boys. Oh, Tyron Samuels. No, no. <laughs> As Tyron Samuels moves away from the pass, and Julian Ramsey intercepts Marcus Mariota, and they start at the 20, but they have one minute. This is not a game anymore. Let's just try to get another interception with Casey Mayo. <laughs> <laughs> K 
Casey Mayo knocks the ball into the air, and then I hit stick air. <laughs> this has been a fun game to play. I've been loving this franchise lately, guys. And as it's going to be a screen pass, can Miles Jack get to the outside and get him? No, but Cam Anchors, he needs the ball more than anybody on this team. As he's just carrying their offense. Jared Goff needs to get traded at the end of this year. <laughs> That went over my head. Oh, fumble! Let's go! Let's go! That is Marcus Williams' second force fumble of the year. He has been a little quiet these last couple weeks, but he is back. He's. I've been liking that signing, man. He has been playing great. Dude, if they aren't going to cover Tyron Samuels, then I'm just going to keep handing it or giving it to him. Hey, for rookie of the year. All right, um. As that is just a humongous hit by Marcus Williams. I never thought he was like that crazy of a hitter. I always thought like, oh, he's just like a, you know, coverage safety. Nah, I was wrong. And Marcus Mariota sacked. Let's definitely not get anybody hurt as we're trying to just stat pad for, you know, awards and just traits. Hopefully we could get a breakout player one of these times. Or we might just throw it up to Monty Newhouse. As nothing is open, Marcus Mariota, can you just get to the outside? Marcus Mariota, he loses some yards there, but we're just going to punt. Yeah, he's taken out of bounds behind the line of scrimmage. We're going to try to pin him at the one. Ah, that's not going to work unless he has a short leg. Oh, it might work, actually. Yeah, we pin him not inside the one, but on the 20. <laughs> so it kind of would have been the same thing if we just... You know. Sorry. But this will be probably game in a second as Jared Goff. This, I've said it a lot, but our defense is just dominant. As Jared Goff, back to pass. He just throws a check down to who knows who that is, but he just falls down whenever he wants to catch it. Kiki QT. Yeah, I got you. Uh, <laughs> Robert Woods burns his man. I'm going to call a timeout so I can, we can get some more plays. Robert Woods burns his guy. I believe that was Trey Herndon on that play. And that is just a bomb. If you're off, you could tell he's a little bit mad now after, you know, what we did. We violated his shit. <laughs> oh, and a short pass to Higby as he just gets, he's racking up catches. Averages like two yards a catch, but yeah. I'm excited to see this team develop. We will be making the playoffs. As that's caught, but Casey Mayo forces an incompletion. How much incompletions does he force? With also how much, you know, interceptions. He has three or two. I don't know. That could have been his second for Miles Jack. As now the Rams are up at the two, but they cannot get a playoff. That will finish the game, Jacksonville. Wins 7 to 17 in an amazing game. That was great. Oh, and yeah. Thank you guys for watching. We're not done yet, but that was a fun game. Let's see how this yards were. I think they beat us in rushing yards. Yeah. And they also beat us in touch passing yards, but we had five takeaways. <laughs> That's just the story of this defense. We're going to take a quick look at the stats. As we can maybe also, as this is the quarterback stats, Marcus Mariota, 2-2. Two and two, Kind of a Marcus Mariota game. James Robinson did not have the best game. But we also, some of his big runs were called back. Receiving, Tyron Samuels. Tell me this guy isn't rookie of the year. 130 yards, one touchdown, and nine receptions. DJ Chark went down with an injury this game, which sucked. James Robinson had one for nine, and Monty Newhouse had that moss. Defensively, we had a lot of interceptions, but... And some forced fumbles. Casey Mayo had three interceptions. Jack, Miles, Jack had one. Forced fumbles. Marcus Williams has one. We're going to go out into this game and see what's happening in that Rookie of the Year race. We're going to sim one week into the future but yeah
we that was a fun game. We have some upgrades. Casey Mayo, obviously, he gets an upgrade after that. We're gonna keep upgrading pass coverages. I mean, it's looking to pay off right now. And that's a plus two man, plus one, two zone, and plus one strength. Dang. He's starting to get up there in zone, and his man still out of 55, so we definitely don't want to have him in man. But I like when he's in the middle of the field controlling it. As of week 14, we are 9-4. and four. How long will DJ Chark be out for? He's going to be out for five weeks. We'll, we're going to have him... We're not going to have him for the wild card if we... But we will have him for some of the playoffs if we can get it passed. Let's take a look as the Patriots are 9-4 and four this year. Let's take a look at this award race. AFC, sorry. Zach Isaac is still ahead. Like, what? <laughs> Casey Mayo might get robbed of this award, but it's like they actually understand how he is the best. As let's take a look. We should have Casey Mayo, of course. As Jacob Eason is quarterback for Colts right now, and he had an amazing game. But yes, Casey Mayo, three interceptions. That's what we like to see. And the playoff picture, let's take a look at this. We would still be the two seed behind the Browns, obviously. And that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed, as always. But I'll be back with a lot more of franchise videos. We're going to try to get to the offseason as quick as possible. And thank you guys for watching. Catch you guys next time. Peace.